Hey guys, it's Melissa. Welcome back. In today's video, I am showing you how to make your eyes look bigger, brighter, wider. Even if you've got very small eyes, I feel like my eyes are quite small. I do these steps to make my eyes look that little bit bigger. So if you wanna see how to get your eyes looking just like this, then keep watching and I'll show you. First things first, I'm gonna prime using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to use the Golden Cat to just pack this onto the lid. I'm taking it right up to the brow bone and then I'm using the warmth of my finger to set it into place. So when I'm trying to make my eyes look bigger, I feel like working with matte shades works a lot better. So I'm gonna use the Shade and Light Palette this is one of my favorite palettes because it has literally every matte shade you could ever need for any type of smoky eyes. So before I go ahead and do my shadows, I'm gonna set that paint pot in place and I'm gonna use this banana shade. I'm gonna take that on my jungle cap brush, which I also use for my translucent powder, and I'm just going to pat that over the lid and that just means everything will be set in place and then my eyeshadows will blend so much more easily on top of it. So when you're trying to make your eyes look bigger, you want to open them up and create the illusion that you have these really big doe eyes. So I'm going to take this matte brown shade, it's like between a cool and a warm matte brown. I'm going to place this in the upper crease and I'm going to take it slightly above where my actual crease is to create the illusion that my crease is slightly higher and therefore my eyes are slightly bigger. I'm using the Bornean Bay Cap Brush, this is super fluffy and perfect for dispersing the colour. I'm also dragging this shade out in line with my brow line and I'm pulling it out quite far because it's going to create the illusion that my eyes are coming out more wide as well. It sometimes helps to tilt your head back and look down into the mirror. You can feel your socket and it sort of does the work for you. The socket guides the brush and just work it back and forth in windshield wiper motions until you have the pigmentation you desire. The reason I use a cool tone brown shade instead of a warm tone is I want this to look like a real shadow, like my real socket, and therefore cool tones look much more like shadows because shadows are grey. So if you can get a grey base brown, that is the perfect colour to use in your socket. So now I am going to go back in with that golden cap brush and the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and what we're going to do here is kind of cut the crease. I'm going to cut my crease higher than my actual crease is therefore making my eye look bigger. So the best advice I have for cutting the crease is to look straight ahead into your mirror and press the colour into place. Then when you look down, you'll have a guideline for where you're going to cut and it'll be slightly above your real crease. I want to set that paint pot in place. I'm gonna take this bone colored shadow and just pack that on top of where we've cut the crease. And now that we've got our new lid, I'm just gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that we used at the start, just to really softly blend the two together. We don't want a really harsh line between the two. And then I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. This one is called Sand Cat. And I'm gonna mix these two shades together, that original one, and that slightly darker one. And I'm going to put this underneath the lash line and I'm going to focus it mostly on the outer corner. This will just draw the eyes out, making them look bigger. I'm not being afraid to take that shadow too far down and I'm also making sure to join it up on the outer corners. And I'm only working it about halfway to 75% across. And the best tip to really open up your eyes is to take a nude or a white liner and put it in the waterline. Now I don't have one, but I'm just gonna work with what I've got. I do have a liner brush, this is the serval brush, and I do have my paint pot, which is the perfect nude color. So just like I do with gel liner, I'm gonna do the same with the paint pot, and I am going to pick it up on my brush and paint it onto the waterline. This gives the illusion that your eyes are even bigger because it makes it look like the white of your eye continues on down. If I put black there, it makes your eyes look smaller because it closes the gap between the white and your eyelid. 
And now I'm going to take my first shimmer shade. Whichever shimmer you have in any eyeshadow palette will do. I'm just taking this one. It's called Verma from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to pack this on the brow bone and this will make the eyes look bigger because when you put a shimmer or a highlight on the brow bone, that lifts the brow bone and therefore creates the illusion that your eyes are bigger. And I'm also going to pop it on the inner corner because that will brighten the eyes, make them look more awake, more doe-eyed and bigger. I'm using the marbled cap brush for this because it's super dense and it allows you to apply the colour exactly where you want it. And then one more step to draw the eyes outwards and upward, I'm going to take the brow brush, it's called the Iberian Lynx, and I'm just going to lift a tiny little bit of this dark brown and this grey tone brown. And I'm going to use this to create a sort of wing on the outer corner but with shadow, so a very light wing. And that will just tidy up this little area here where I've created the new lid but haven't really known where to finish it off. And now it's time to add lashings and lashings of mascara. And you also want to make sure to really pack the mascara onto the bottom lashes as well because the longer they look, the bigger your eyes are going to look. And you could totally be done here, but because I don't have the longest lashes in the world, I'm going to take a pair of lashes and pop these on because these will lift and open up my eyes more than anything. And then a great tip for applying lashes, if you apply the glue and let it sit for three to five minutes, it will go super tacky and then they'll stick straight on. You shouldn't have any issues. You don't need a super dramatic lash. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're long enough. Um, that they definitely add length and volume, but they're not super dramatic that they take away from all the work you've done in the makeup. So that's why I love these ones. And that is it. Those are the steps that I take to make my eyes look bigger. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Even if you just use one or two of these steps, I've just given you all the ideas that I could think of to make your eyes look bigger. I always highlight my inner corner. I always highlight my brow bones. Little things like that you can work into your everyday routine. And I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.